Hello there! So Aragami buff has been really nice for blood mains like me because now, as you can see, Wrathblood is actually meta viable again. Uh, anyway, this deck is Wrathblood. It runs cards like these that deals 1 damage to my leader. This card deals 1 damage to my leader. This card deals 1 damage to my leader. You get the gist. And once I deal 7 damage to my own leader, or to be more precise, when my leader has taken damage 7 times in a match, Wrath activates and I get strong effects like Hazan evolving for free, or Gavi evolving for free, Darhold destroying an enemy follower and dealing 3 to the face, and Permafrost instead of dealing 5, it deals 10 instead, which is really powerful. So that's the deck. And I'll see you in some games where I get to cut myself. Alright, we're gonna be fighting Portal Craft. And it depends on if it's uh, control or if it's artifact uh, that we're gonna have a good matchup against them or a bad matchup. Because uh, honestly, I like fighting artifact more as this deck. Uh, personally, because Control has uh, a lot of stuff that kind of ruins our combo. They have Mukneer as well. I don't think Artifact runs Mukneer, right? So they can't really mess up with our Darvolt uh, Blood Pack. Unless they do, and I've been kind of missing out. Uh, Synthesization on one. Uh, we're gonna answer with Silver Bolt, so it prevents him from playing the Artifact. Yeah, the thing with... Oh, he's actually gonna skip? For some reason, he's not gonna play it. Is he... Okay, I, I might be wrong here, but if, if he runs like, um, if he plays something like Bifurcating next turn, I would be shocked, to say the least. Uh, that would scare me. Don't, don't tell me you're gonna play, but okay. So, he's gonna play Ancient Artifact, the other one, for the other one? No, he's not! That's interesting. Um, so, okay, we have a lot of options here, but I like playing Vampiric Bloodbinder here. And then, um, doing this. And then possibly, yep, there you go. Uh, I should I should have played, uh, I should have traded first, but uh, let's go, we left. We're left unpunished here. <laughs> um, Antelope Pelt Warrior. Okay, having one extra HP is really nice. Okay, he's obviously gonna trade here. Yeah, he has to trade with the 4-2. With the you don't want this hitting face, no more, yep. And... Uh, we get a free Darhole play with no pressure on our face. This is really nice for us. And, um, yeah, I, I feel like I want to keep pressuring the face more instead of trading into Ilganu, which she's going to come back, right? So, I feel like that's the right play there. Uh, we can also play Darhold next turn as well. Oh, Carnelia. Okay, so this is kind of rough for us, actually, because she can trade, uh, uh, the Ilganu can trade in now. Um, that's no problem, though, because uh, we can just... Yeah, we can just play in our Darhold. It's 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 no problem, I think. Uh, Bear Pelt. Ooh, that's actually even better. Um, yeah, uh, this is this is the Bear Play in my opinion. And then we can evolve the Bear Pelt to heal for more. And now we have Wrath, Wrath activated very quickly. We can play Darhold next turn, and um, we can draw a lot of cards from it as well. And we can destroy. Have the destroy activate. Uh, I'm actually pretty comfortable with sitting at 12 HP now. Uh, the fact that he's sitting at 11. He should be the one that's like, you know, not feeling very comfortable at this point. Uh, he's gonna copy the ancient artifact. He's gonna hit it on my... Oh no, he's not. Wait, did he? Oh, he's trading. Yeah, I don't see why he's trading. Is he playing 20 portal inside? Alright. Um, oh, there's Hassan. Do I want to play him now? Uh, Contentious Demon is here as well. This is kind of confusing because I don't know uh, what the bear play is here. I think I'm going to play aggressive on him. Yeah, I want to play aggressive because we have lethal by next turn, right? Um, yeah, Ilya is lethal by next turn. So, uh, actually, no, that's not lethal. Um, okay, so if I play Scrappy now... Yeah, I can, I can evolve it. It's fine. We have Hazan. We have Hazan to uh, manage the board. It's 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 really fine. It's no problem. We're gonna just aggress him way more. And look at this. He's at three HP already because of the aggression we have. Lucille 
and he's probably gonna play the ancient artifact as well. Is he? Or is he just gonna concede? Don't concede. Oh, he's, he's gonna heal back. Okay. Evolving the Lucille. And I'm guessing this Radiant is gonna... Ooh, not his face. Interesting. He's playing full defense for some reason. Wait, why did he just trade with the Lucille instead of the... Oh, he wants uh, he wants Spinaria, that's why. Yeah, he, he wants to play Spinaria uh, next turn here. Um, ooh, does he have 20 followers to try? I'm kind of scared, actually. Uh, you know, he only has 13, so... Um, so what is the best play here? From Ross Behemoth? I'm gonna play Contemptuous Demon? Ooh, or that. Um, yeah, I actually gotta conflict that now. That's pretty good, too. Let's play that, too, I suppose. That's a pretty good card. Scrappy Werewolf. Interesting. Um, I I like I like to do this play more. Uh, take this demon. We're gonna evolve it. Uh, and play the Scrappy Werewolf as well. We're gonna run this in. We're gonna run this in. And hit face. Putting more aggression. So uh, next turn, what what can he do to actually avoid my Argavi lethal? Not much actually. I have Ilya. I have a lot of. Yeah, I think that's GG. Um, yeah, if he trades with uh, whichever here, that's not gonna be enough. And yep, there we go. Seven damage to face kind of hurts though. Well, let's finish the game. Aragavi. Evolve. And I gotta be such a cool finisher now. Look at that. Dang, this card is bad ass, dude. That was some sick gameplay we just had there. Yeah, GG well played. Alright, so for our second match here, we're gonna be fighting Shadowcraft. And if you've seen anything from my previous video, is that this deck does not do any well against the uh, aggro Shadowcraft archetype. Uh, hopefully, this isn't aggro, so we actually can stand a chance. Alright, I'm pretty confident with this hand because uh, Vampiric Bloodbinder on 2 into Vuela on 3 is very nice. We also have Scrappy Werewolf, which is also another really solid Rash Generator. Um, the thing about this deck is I actually really like running Ilya in it. I I've, I've haven't seen her in a while, so seeing uh, her being back in the meta is really nice, in my opinion, because... She used to be a really cool card, uh, she deals 3 uh, to face, she deals 3 to a follower, and she heals you for 3. It's just an uh, absolute uh, tempo swing for a 3 cost, and uh, I think we're gonna play Bear Felt here on 3. Because having a 3-3 three, three on board just feels really nice, and it's also on curve, right? So, what can he do here to answer? Um, he's gonna play natural, right? So, Beastly Medium? No, he's gonna play Sarcophagus Rage, okay. That's interesting. He's gonna trade. Uh, that's gonna give us one draw, which is nice. Uh, we can p possibly get whatever we want here. Contemptuous Demon. Okay, Permafrost is really what we want. We want a draw card, so we're gonna play that. And, oh yeah, let's go play the Werewolf as well, so you can trade into the 1 2. Take full advantage of the rush uh, value, you know? Might as well, right? So. Okay, he's gonna be playing a tree. What is he gonna follow this up with? What? Death Foul? Interesting! So he's playing semi Grimry, semi Thought, semi Natura? Okay, so this Grudge Teller uh, is going to be kind of a hassle because it heals them back. But no worries because we have Contemptuous Demon. And this card! This card is really awesome. You know why? Let me tell you why. Because this will clean their board with partially no effort. I just play cards here that hits my own leader. And whenever I hit my own leader, uh, it just it deals 3 damage to a random enemy follower. And the card itself already deals damage to your own leader. So I don't see any reason not to run this. This is an excellent card. He's gonna play a tree. Into Beastly Medium, okay. So, this is a lot of board that he's leaving us with. Uh, he's gonna kill the Contentious Demon here, definitely. Alright, so... 
Uh, I believe we play Scrappy Werewolf here, and then we can also play Hazan, just because uh, Hazan is a really strong uh, follower on board as well. Yeah, we should just play him. All face! And uh, what HP is he on? He's on 9 HP. If he doesn't clear any of this next by next turn, uh, he dies. Okay, he's playing a sarcophagus, and I think that's GG because uh, sarcophagus wraith by himself will not clear our entire board here. He has to trade this into this to get the heal off, and he he's gonna probably trade one of these guys into the Hazan, and even with that. Uh, 3 plus 3 plus 3 equals 9, right? And then you can just evolve for 2 damage. Wait, he's not killing the Hazan for some reason? Okay. Um, well, let's go trade this and hopefully get the Hazan. Never mind. <laughs> I, was, I was hoping to get the Hazan to 3 and then attack him for 6. But... Yeah, that's not gonna happen. Let's just uh, attack him, all our followers, and GG well played. Ooh, that's pretty nice. Yeah, uh, I think we can either Hazan or Darhold here. Um, I don't like playing defensive at this state of the game. This Ilya is at UB9. Uh, we can play uh, Ilya and Hazan next turn, but I wanna play really aggressive here, play uh, the Darhol dealing 3, and then play the Ilya dealing another 3. Oh, this is really nice. Running Ilya in this deck is actually really sweet. I haven't seen this card be active in a while. Okay, so they actually run Zilginia, which is fine by me. Uh, they can't, they have to like, oh, okay. They're gonna evolve it, they're gonna trade into my Ilya. Which is which is okay by me. Uh, we're still we're still fine here. We can play either Hazan or we can play Resolve of the Fallen. Uh, actually, I think I'm just gonna play the Resolve for uh, one here, or we can play Buella and try to top deck something first. Let's see what we top deck. Scrappy World. Okay. Um, Okay, let's have all these followers hit face. And hopefully we can finish him off in the next turn if he doesn't heal too much. Well, there goes my dream. <laughs> Although even though that's a shame, it's interesting that he doesn't actually have Aragavi. He's playing his own Ilya. Interesting, interesting. It's gonna hit our face for quite a lot of damage here. Um, so, interesting play here. We can actually play Hazan. And then from the Hazan Evolve, uh, we can try to destroy the, the Zilginia. Actually, we can destroy this instead because it has a... It has Bane. We draw two cards now, which is really nice. Dang, that's really good for us. So, uh, we can actually full trade Hazan here. We can full trade Hazan. Like that. And then we can play our last uh, Scrappy Wolf and Antelope Pelt Warrior. And put some aggression. If he plays Permafrost, we actually survive here. And in fact, if anything, we, we might actually have Lethal by next turn. Garnet Waltz, interesting. He's gonna play his other Hazan. Man, this this match has been Hazan left and right, huh? All right. Oh, he's gonna be playing the Scrappy World too, hitting my face there. Um, yeah, that leaves leaves me kind of uncomfortable. But ooh, double Ilya, yo. This is awesome. We can play one Ilya, and we can play the other Ilya. And then uh, what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna play Bear Pelt, so my Ilya becomes uh, stronger. All of them gets plus one, plus one. And I'm pretty comfortable with this. If he has Aragavi, um, 
Actually, I don't know what to do if he has Aragami. <laughs> but there comes the world. And we, do we actually die here from... Oh yeah, we die here from... From uh, Permafrost Behemoth. Oh! He doesn't have lethal if he plays Permafrost now. Oh, he plays Aragami instead. Interesting. He's gonna play Aragavi. He's gonna deal for the everything. I'm sorry, deal 8 to everything. He's gonna hit himself here. Yikes, you're living at 1 HP, bro. Uh, Lisa. <laughs> Alright, dude. Alright, let's go evolve it. I didn't deserve that win. But you know what? I'll take it. Bang! Oh, that card is so awesome. I love this card, dude. Well, that's the game. GG, well played.